Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to try to film a rocket in Unreal Engine. We're in 4.27. It has to be 4.27 for this asset, which is the missile, which is free. I'm going to try to do it in 5.1, but I had problems with it crashing. So anyway, we're just going to go into projectiles and we're going to grab the BP missile west and drag it onto the scene like this. This is just the basic blank project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zero out the origin on here. And then on the pitch we're going to go to 90 and then on the z we're going to bring it up about 300 300 on the z and that puts us in a pretty good position then we're going to go ahead and get an empty actor and bring that onto the scene and we'll go ahead and zero that out and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag this about there so this will serve as a focal point and later hopefully as a container in the sequencer. So we got that done. And then we need a camera, so we'll go ahead and get the Cine camera and drag this onto the scene. And this is in the right orientation, believe it or not. So You know, I never noticed like the level of detail on this rocket. Like you'll see there's, looks like text on the side right there. So anyway, the, the thing right here is we're just going to try to frame up our shot right here. So we might pull back a little bit here and use these controls. So let's see, just however you want to try to frame this up, realizing that there's going to be a lot of stuff exploding out of the thrust when the rocket gets on there. So let's go ahead and decrease our focal length. Let's go ahead and get in to focus. And once we get this whole, the whole rocket in there accounting for, might take a little bit more repositioning here, accounting for all the thrust that will be coming out of the back because we want to be able to see the whole, the whole rocket. So I think that's good enough to have the whole thing framed up right there like that. Okay, so we're framed up. We got our rocket. We don't have the effects in yet. And... I think that's all we need. So I guess we can bring in the effects now. And this is pretty dramatic, so we'll bring that in. And we'll go ahead and zero all that out. And then I know already that it needs to be negative 90 on the orientation. So now let's go back in here. Let's click on the rocket and we'll go F. And let's kind of, let me slow down my camera speed a little bit. There we go. And let's get down here and look at this thing. And let's just go ahead and drag this up. We can just drag it straight up to maybe like right about there. And I think that's going to be good enough. Now there is one really great feature on the camera. So let's go on the Cine camera. And that is this look function that will track for us the rocket. So look, and then we're going to go here, and we want it to track. Actually, we want it to track the actor, so I won't use the pin drop. I'll just use the actor. And you see how the position of the camera changed once I did that? Yeah, so that's good enough, I think. Although I do think I want to, looking at this shot here, I do think I want to decrease my focal length just a little bit more. It's actually a pretty wide object that we're shooting here. So let's just back out just a little bit more. Okay, and I think that's that's good enough for what we're trying to do. So that's our initial shot. Then we should be able to right click and come into animation and get a level sequence. And there it is, and we're gonna double click into it. And now we're just going to add those four things we just added to the scene. So we're going to add our camera. We can close this up for now. We can add our actor. We can add the BP missile. And then we'll add the effect here. So now we have those four things loaded into the scene. And what we'd like to do is essentially parent the missile shell and the missile effect to the actor. So we should be able to go into track and attach to actor and it essentially become a parent. And you'll notice if we look up here, we can see up here even in the outliner that it's now a 
child. So we go here to track, attach, to actor, and now this too is a child, and you can see him both up here, parented. Okay, all we have to do is animate the actor, and we're in the camera view. So, so let's click on track here, and go to transform, and make sure we're on the first frame, make sure auto keyframing is on. We're going to add a keyframe there, and the one thing I noticed is this particular shot's not very long right now. So let me just adjust this up. Let's double it just to make the shot a little bit longer. Oops. So I'll drag this out to about there. And we'll go ahead and extend this, this stuff out too. So there, we're all extended out there. And that's our shot. Back on the first frame here, we have our keyframe set. Then we're going to jump to the end frame and then we're going to make sure we're on the actor and make sure we're on the actor transform here. And then we're going to go ahead and go to its details panel and on the Z, we're just going to pull it up like that. Like that. And I don't know how far and let it go, like something like that. And then if we come back to the beginning and we hit play, there is our shot. There's one other thing maybe I'd like to try to do, and hopefully I don't cause it to crash, but I'd like the camera to kind of go up with the, with the rocket a little bit more. So let's go back to the first frame, click here on the transform for the rocket, make sure we're on the first frame, and we're going to add a keyframe. Come here, make sure we're on the cine camera add a keyframe, then go to the end frame, and then on the camera Z, let's just go ahead and move it up a little bit more, like that. And that should do it. So that should complete our animation of the rocket. The only question is, can we render this out without it crashing? and I honestly don't know. It was crashed. I did this exact same procedure in 5.1 and it kept crashing on me every time. So I'm not sure I did report, make a report on that. So let's go ahead and see if we can just render it out. So before we do that, we gotta go into camera cuts. We've gotta add our city camera actor. And then we gotta click here. So we enable that perspective. And then we should be able just to go here and I'm going to do this as an AVI and just see if that'll work. And I'll just leave everything else the standard. And I'm just going to go capture movie. I'm not going to save. And I sort of see, it looks like I don't have my full frame up here in the preview, but it looks like it's getting it. So now I'll close out. Let's see, I have my... AVI right here. Let's open it with... I'm not sure what I can open this with. And there we go. So it worked. <laughs> I'll try this again in 5.1 and see if I can get it to work. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.